COVID-19 has spread with a vengeance inside prisons and jails across our state. The worst outbreak is at the Sterling Correctional Facility, where more than 1,400 inmates, most of the prison's population, have tested positive for the virus since April. Nine News reporter Mark Salinger spoke with a man just released yesterday after getting clemency from the governor. HUD like this was decades in the making. Anthony Martinez is 85 now. He spent the last 30 years in prison. How, how was today? He wants to know how was today? What was today like? It's pretty, it's pretty hard for me to explain. It, it's very, very hard. Anthony suffers from dementia and uses a wheelchair to get around. He was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole in 1989 for second degree burglary. Prior convictions contributed to the lengthy sentence. Three decades later, the governor said he wanted Anthony to be able to live his final years with his niece. They met for the first time when he was released Friday morning. Today has been a big day. Oh, definitely it's been a big day. The Sterling Correctional Facility is home to the worst COVID-19 outbreak in the state. 1,431 inmates have tested positive for the virus since last April. Nine have died. That's a bad situation. The, the environment, the, the, the sickness the people were going through, it was bad. It was very bad. Anthony was one of the lucky ones who didn't get sick. They were dying. People were dying from one day to the next. Of all the active COVID-19 outbreaks in the state, the 14 largest are inside prisons and jails. More than 9,000 inmates across Colorado have tested positive. Just because somebody makes a mistake, they shouldn't have to pay the rest of their life for That's it. That's right. Tonight, an 84-year-old former inmate is free again. In Denver, I'm Mark Salinger, 9 News. The Department of Corrections has begun vaccinating inmates. Anthony's family tells us he did not get a vaccine shot because he was about to be released.